Warning, this video contains medical images that are graphic in nature. Viewer discretion is advised. Untreated pressure sores can lead to widespread infections, limb amputations, or worse, loss of life. Even minor problems can get out of hand, limiting your ability to take care of yourself, function at work, or result in lengthy and costly hospital stays. There is no such thing as an insignificant pressure sore. What is a pressure sore? A pressure sore is an area of the skin or underlying tissue that is damaged due to loss of blood flow to the area. Blood flow to the skin keeps it alive and healthy. If the skin does not get blood, it will die. Normally, sensation acts as a warning system, signaling you to move or shift your weight to let blood flow return to an area before damage occurs. Because you may not be able to feel discomfort or pain after a spinal cord injury, you cannot depend on your sensation of pressure to cue you to move or shift weight to relieve pressure. Pressure sore can range from slightly red to a major open wound. How do pressure sores happen? Pressure sores happen from too much pressure on the skin for too long. Unrelieved pressure is the most common cause of pressure sores in spinal cord injury. Common high pressure situations are not having a proper wheelchair cushion, sitting too long without performing a pressure relief, lying too long without turning to relieve pressure, not enough padding in bed to protect bony areas of the body such as the heels and hips, clothing and shoes that fit too tightly, sitting or lying on hard objects, poor sitting posture. Besides pressure on the skin, other factors increase your risk of forming pressure ulcers too, such as decreased circulation due to smoking, diabetes, high blood pressure, poor positioning and poor cushion support, physical activity that increases repetitive pressure over an area vulnerable to breakdown or causes excessive perspiration in a vulnerable area shearing of the skin, poor nutrition and dehydration, aging. As you age your skin will become more thin and vulnerable to injury, being over or underweight. Loss of muscle mass that previously would have provided a natural cushion over the bony parts of the body. Moisture, wet skin is more likely to break down. Dry, flaky skin can crack and become inflamed and infected. Circulation Sitting or lying in one position for too long can disrupt circulation to the skin, which can cause swelling and in some cases, an edema. Smoking also reduces circulation and will delay healing. The importance of positioning Areas of your body where you are very likely to develop a pressure sore when you are in your wheelchair are your shoulder blades and spine the backs of your arms and legs where they rest against the chair, your tailbone or buttocks, your heels. Positioning. Changing positions frequently is key in preventing skin breakdown. Having a schedule for changing positions is one of the best ways to prevent pressure sores. When in your chair, pay attention to your posture. Try to maintain a 90 degree angle between your upper body and your hips. When sitting in your wheelchair, you should do pressure reliefs every 15 to 30 minutes. In bed, you can reduce pressure by placing pillows under and between your legs. And a general recommendation is to change positions every two hours when in bed.
Tips for changing positions. Perform weight shifts every 15 to 30 minutes while sitting. Turn or reposition at least every two hours while in bed. Use pillows under and or between legs when lying in bed to keep bones from rubbing together. Avoid lying directly on the hip bone and keep a 30 degree angle position. When lying on your back, keep your lower legs up by placing a thin foam pad or pillow under the lower part of the legs, mid-calf to angle. Do not place the pad or pillow directly under the knee. This reduces the flow of blood to the lower leg areas. Use pillows or small pads to keep the knees and ankles from touching each other. The importance of staying active and eating healthy. Physical activity has many health benefits and is important for your health and circulation. However, excessive sweating and moisture resulting from exercise make you an easy target for skin breakdown. When exercising, use towels for excess sweat and wear lightweight or loose clothing to help skin breathe. Don't stay in wet clothing after exercising. It may seem ironic that water can be a major problem on the outside of the skin, but lacking it inside the body can be even worse. Hydration and a balanced diet are key to support healthy skin. Daily physical activity and range of motions will also aid circulation. A balanced diet includes protein with lean meats, eggs, dairy foods, and beans, and complex carbs, carbohydrates like fruits, vegetables, and whole grain breads. Minerals like zinc, found in foods like fish, red meats, whole grains, and beans, is crucial for skin repair because it helps metabolize carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Vitamins A and C increase skin's strength and should also be a regular part of a balanced diet. Simple carbs like refined flour and sugar and alcohol should be avoided due to the negative effect on health. Most importantly, remember that you should check your skin at least twice a day. You should change body positions every two hours when in bed. You should do pressure reliefs in your chair every 15 to 30 minutes. Try to maintain good posture and avoid positions that allow you to slide or slump. Avoid sliding when transferring on surfaces. This causes friction that can lead to skin abrasions. Smoking greatly increases your risk for pressure sores as well as many other health issues. As you age with your injury, you are more susceptible to pressure sores and skin breakdown. Good hygiene, nutrition, and attitude make all the difference in your health. You should inspect your equipment often and periodically get your equipment reassessed by a rehabilitation professional.